Hi, this is Elizabeth Surmath from Your Highest Lights here on Instagram and Facebook Live every Friday at 11 o'clock with Prudence, my little dog here, to talk to you about your favorite topic and mine, attracting more beautiful things into your life. I am a life coach, an angel tarot card reader, and a spiritual coach. And so I'm here, like I said, every Friday on Instagram and Facebook. So thanks for joining. Those who are joining, hi. Hi, Anna. Hi. Um, good to see everybody. So I'm here today. I hope everybody had a great New Year's. Um, here we are in 2018. So I'm here to do a little activity with you for 2018. Um, this is something that's been popular on social media. My yoga teachers have been doing it for years. So I'm going to try it with you, kind of putting my own little spin on it. So I'm just getting things straight on Instagram and Facebook, making sure the phone are um, are all straight. So I want, I want you to do, let's start by closing our eyes and take three deep breaths. I did this is I did this with a client yesterday, just close our eyes and take three deep breaths and what a difference it makes to start the session and to start um, our time together. So go ahead and close your eyes and take three deep breaths as you just kind of like allow yourself to relax as much as you can right now. Allow your mind to go as free as it can. Just kind of release whatever your mind is holding on to. So you can be here with me, be here in this moment, and hopefully we can get as much out of it as we can in this moment today. I'm sorry, I have to fix this quote. The, I have to fix the Facebook. It's just that I'm um, looking right. Okay, there we go. So, um, so hopefully we're all here, we've arrived, right? Physically and mentally. And so I wanna to talk to you, I'm gonna ask you a question. And when I ask you this question, I don't want you to strive and reach for the answer. I just want you to let the answer come to you. And this is something that I've posted about already, so it's something you might have already given some thought. So, but I'm going to, we're gonna do it together right now and see what happens. So like I said, don't strive for the answer, just kind of, re Take what comes to you in the moment. Don't um, try to control what answer comes to you. And my question is, are you ready? <laughs> my question is, how do you want to feel in 2018? What is the feeling you want to have in 2018? So sit with it for a moment. Sit with that for a moment. feeling that you want to have for 2018. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be the right exact thing. Just whatever comes to you. That, that's the perfect thing. What is the feeling that you want to have? And now I want you to feel whatever it is, pick up, you know, whatever that word is of that feeling, think of that word. And I want you to embody it and how it feels. How does it feel to embody that word? I'm not going to put any words out there because I don't want to put anything into your into your mind. How does it feel to embody that word? What kind of thoughts go along with that word? What are thoughts that go along with that word that you want, that feeling? Hi, Moon Shadow. So good to see you. kind of thoughts go along with that word. And finally, I want you to ask yourself, what kind of actions are congruent with that word? What actions are congruent with that word? Hi, Andrew. Okay. So we're picking a word for 2018. I'm having some phone issues over here, so don't worry, it's gonna be okay. We're picking a word for 2018 how we want to feel and we're thinking about what kind of thoughts are congruent with that word and what kind of actions are congruent with that word. Okay. So your word can be anything. I don't care what it is. It doesn't matter to me. All I care is, is that it is right for you. Okay. So I'm not, I don't judge your word that your word is yours. Um, last year, my word was joy. I wanted to feel more joy in my life. And this word, I landed on the word badass. So badass is my word for this year, and so I'm not judging your word. So I wanna talk a little bit about the word badass and what that means. 
Okay, so that word, it chose me. I didn't I did not choose it at first. The first word that I chose was actually brave. I felt like I wanted to be brave in 2018. And the reason why I changed it to badass is because I feel like I felt like brave kind of implied this fear. And I I felt I felt like brave implied fear. So I wanted to change it to badass because um it just felt more right for me, for what I need for 2018. Okay. So hold on one second, guys.